Our fourth video, ladies and gentlemen, deals with representing numbers. And we're going to look at four different ways that we can represent, that we, are, that we can look at numbers. Now, one of them is not a form that we're going to use very much, okay, if, if at all. The first one, and just let me adjust my font here, I want that a little bit bigger, is standard. And, and that's the one we're used to. So if I'm looking at the number 3,526, standard form is how you traditional see a number, see a number, 3,526. That's the standard way. That's the normal way. That's how we nor we are taught and we envision numbers. Second way that we can look at it is word form. Now this is this is a more traditional. This is kind of that. Oh, now we have to learn how to spell. Okay, so again, three thousand five hundred twenty-six. I'm actually going to type it just because it's going to be a, a little bit neater. So three thousand. Comma, wherever the comma is in the number, we're going to put the comma in the word 526. Now, space that out there, and that's what it's going to look like in word form. The third form that the third way to represent numbers is what they call short word. And I honestly have maybe seen this in textbook only. And that's going to look like, well, basically going to be 3, and then the rest is, then it's going to be 3,000, and then your comma, oops, I need my writing instrument here, comma, 526, which really doesn't do much for me. And then the final form is expanded Oops, expanded form. And that's just basically when we take the word and break it in, and take the word, I apologize, take the number and break it into in the parts. We have 3,000 plus 500 plus 20 plus 6. And that's that's kind of a more as we start really looking at finding new ways to add and things like that. That's a nice way to look at numbers because it's a break apart and we can really manipulate the numbers in that manner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you four different, three different numbers and they're going to be in different forms and you're going to have to put them in either standard form, word form, or expanded form. It's going to be in one form, one of these three and you're going to have to put it in the other two. Let's skip this short form because quite honestly you're never going to see it except for in this math in this math um, example. So your first number ladies and gentlemen is uh, 12,402. 12,402. So why don't you take some time and Put this, now this is already in standard form, so put it in word form and expanded form. Pause the video and get to work. Alright, when we put this in word form, we're going to write 12, oops, I can't spell, 12,000, and then we're going to put our comma, because that's where it is, 400, 2. And that's what that's going to look like in word form and expanded form it's going to look like 12 is going to be 10,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus 2 and that is what that looks like in the three regular forms the next one is actually going to be in um, written form word form and you're going to have to convert it to the others and this one is 8,310. Now, why don't you put that in standard form and expanded form? So, pause the video, get to work. 
in standard form, we're going to write 8,310. Remember, in math, math is all about patterns and following directions. I followed the directions exactly what it said, 8,310. It didn't say anything in the ones, so I fill it with the zero. Expanded form, it's going to look like this. 8,000 plus 300 plus 10. And that is that one. Our final one we're going to give to you in expanded form, and that is 700,000 plus 60,000 plus 9. We want this one in standard form and word form. And I'll actually, when I solve it, I'll put it over here. But why don't you pause the video, solve it, and then check and see how you did. Ladies and gentlemen, when we look at this, we're going to put 760,000. Notice we don't have any hundreds, any tens, and just nine. If I want to put that in word form, let me switch to my typing. Um, 760,000. Put the comma there. 9. And that's the extent of that one because there's not a lot to it because there's only three digits. But we have to make sure that we always fill, we always fill in the zeros when they're needed. All right, that's the end of our videos for today. Please check with Mr. Winkleman. Um, either you'll get your homework or um, you'll be ready for the quiz, depending upon where you are. Hope these made sense. If you have any questions, please rewatch the video if you're some parts confusing or ask Mr. Winkleman. He would love to help, help you and make things more clear. Later.